Oh, goody. All right. What's going on, everybody? Zombies here again, and today we're back with another Marvel Snap video. So in this one, we are taking a look at today's new card, Mirage. Mirage is a two cost, two power that reads, on reveal, copy the lowest cost card in your opponent's hand and put it into your hand. Give it plus two power. A pretty interesting card. This one's dropping at series four. Uh, some people have made some comparisons to things like Cable, where it's like, well, you're getting a copy. Cable, you're actually stealing the card. However, Cable, obviously a little bit worse because uh, a lot of times you're stealing a Chavez, uh, but you are actually taking the card so they can't get it. So in Mirage's case, you're just getting a copy. So she's giving you information. And if they play the card and you play the card, yours is going to be a bit bigger. Uh, I'm personally not super excited for this card. I think it's cool, you know, it's fine, um, but I don't think there's really a deck that particularly needs this to succeed, uh, and I don't really think it's going to be a card that really boosts a deck that is already, you know, not having the best results to having way, way better results. It's a cool card, it's a fun card, but I don't think it's necessarily a good card. So in general, I'd probably recommend waiting on this one. Uh, however, looking at the spotlight caches here, we can see the other cards and variants available this week. Uh, so obviously we have the spotlight variants you can see here. Uh, if you already have the cards in this spotlight feature, you will get the variant upon your first opening of it. Uh, instead of the base card, if you don't have the base card, you'll get the base card instead. Uh, Thanos is a pretty high value one here though. If you don't already have Thanos, he's really, really good right now. He's a big bad, so he's never going to get cheaper in token pricing. So maybe if you're really interested in Mirage and Thanos, maybe this is a week for you. Uh, Master Mold also making an appearance here, but Master Mold has had kind of similar issues uh, where it just hasn't really found the best home. Uh, some people have done some meme -y stuff with it where they try and make it work with uh, Ronin, make their hand bigger, clog up their hand. Uh, but ultimately, that those lists haven't really found a ton of success over time. Some people tried to put it in Darkhawk, but never really seemed to find a long-term home there. So uh, I don't think you really want to be going for Master Mold for any particular reason. But if you're really into Mirage and Thanos, maybe this is the week for you. Otherwise, I think this is a pretty easy week to pass on. If you are interested in buying Mirage, though, I would highly recommend doing so with tokens. Again, unless you don't have Thanos or if you really, really want that Thanos variant. Uh, because if a card is releasing in Series 4, unless you really, really like all the other stuff on offer that week, it's almost always better to buy it with tokens because the spotlights, it's much better to save those up for a week where you want more of the stuff. And for 3,000 tokens, uh, I think it feels kind of all right if you have the tokens to spare. Let's take a look at day one decks, though, for those who do want to pick up Mirage. So starting off, we have a bit of a budget Dino deck here. Uh, obviously, Dino is the first place that comes to mind, having the positive interaction with Quinjet, Collector for more car generation. Uh, essentially, she's just acting as a bit of a better cable that's giving us information and hopefully... Uh, a bit of a better card, as usually our opponents are running good cards in their deck. We have some more generation with Sentinel, Coulson, and the recently buffed Nick Fury, as well as White Queen. Dino going to be one of our primary win conditions, and Chavez pretty important in this deck as we really want to get our cheap stuff early on. Uh, just that extra chance to get Quinjet on one or just out in the early game is really, really big as Quinjet is going to be a super huge boost to this deck. Uh, making the collector nice and big uh, just off the, all that card generation it will make our mirage copy cheaper iceman gives us a little bit of interaction to slow down the opponent's tempo and we're playing shang chi as just a way to deal with another big threat that our opponent might have armor to protect our own big threat pretty straightforward fairly budget mirage is the only card in here that is above series three so if you're looking for a bit of a budget list to try this card out in this is one i'd recommend then swinging in the other direction, if budget is not your concern, we have a bit of an upgraded version of the Dino deck. Uh, this one seeks to put in the Zabu Darkhawk package. Zabu really good with Nick Fury. Iron Lad has a lot of positive targets to hit here. Uh, obviously Darkhawk, we're going to be running Rock Slide and Korg for the disruption, pumping up the Hawk. Still have a decent number of ways to get our collector nice and big with Mirage, Coulson, and Fury. Keeps our Dino big as well. Again, I think Chavez is really valuable here for getting our cards when we need them on curve, particularly Zabu. 
Zabu decks are always way, way better if they're getting Zabu on curve. Another card you could consider in that spot though is Doom, as Doom lets us have a bit of a more go wide element and it adds another additional high roll to Iron Lad. However, I don't think we really necessarily need that. I think we'd rather have the consistency of being able to draw our early game more often in the early turns of the game. If you want to go in a bit of a different direction, I think one that could be fun is the Bounce deck. A lot of people moved away from Bounce after it got nerfed, and uh, much like High Evolutionary in the past, I think people moved away from it too quickly. Uh, Bounce is still putting up some really impressive results, and Mirage is kind of a neat card to include in it as you can bounce Mirage to get more value, whether that's just information or whether we get some good cards to play from the opponent's deck, especially if they're also playing a deck with cheap cards. This is a pretty straightforward list here. We did have to cut something to get Mirage in, ended up cutting Bishop. However, this kind of comes down to personal preference. Uh, I've been finding Spider Ham to get a little bit less value recently. So if you don't really like Ham or if you uh, are just looking for a replacement for him, if you don't have him, uh, Bishop is definitely a card I would try and get back into this list. I'm not really sure if Mirage is going to make this deck overall better, but I do think she can be a fun include. And the last deck we have here comes courtesy of Safety Blade. Uh, this is a pretty neat idea. So it is a Hella discard deck, but we're going to be using Generation to get cards for the Hella rather than just running a bunch of big stuff ourselves. Uh, so we have Hella Carrier, Nick Fury, Agent Coulson, and Mirage as our primary generators. These are the things that are going to be putting cards in our hand so we can discard them, bring them back with Hella. Echo as a bit of protection since this deck does like to do the Invisible Woman setup so we don't have to worry about, you know, discarding our Hella. Uh, especially because we don't have a ton of discard in this deck, we really are relying on Modok being able to go Invisible Woman, Modok into Hella to that way guarantee what we're discarding. Uh, alternatively, sometimes Sif will just be able to discard our Hella Carrier, so maybe we can play the cards that we generate if we aren't in a position where we can execute the Hella game plan, and Magic is going in here just as a way to get us an extra turn so that we can hopefully get our specific combo with that extra draw. And there we have it, that is going to wrap it up for our Day 1 Mirage decks. Let me know what you think about this card in the comments below. Are you picking it up? Are you passing on it? Do you have some neat ideas in terms of decks to brew with it? I'd love to hear it. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. If you enjoyed it, remember to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace!